Welcome to the live chat. Remember to guard. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm live. <laughs> this is so fun. Uh, and there was one guy waiting, so thank you so much, or it might have been a gal. I don't know. If you're able to message me, go ahead. Um, since it usually takes about a minute for some people to join, um, <clears throat> I think you're going to find it funny how <laughs> I need to get a, uh, what's it called? I need to get like a selfie stick thing. So I, <laughs> I figured out how to show you. I want to show you how I'm doing this. Today it's cold and rainy, so I could be outside because I, hey, hi, Winter Jasmine. Um, and Angela, hi. Thank you for, uh, hi. Hi, Dean. Hi, Adam. Thank you for typing something. Where are you guys from? But thank you for typing something because then I know that it, the, the, the comments are working. But since we're just waiting maybe for a couple other people to join us, uh, I think I figured out a way. I'm talking to you from Steve. Steve is my, hello from Boston. Hello, Boston. Good morning. Well, I guess it's evening there. Good evening, Boston. So I figured out, so Steve is the name of my iPhone, but I, I've got Lynette's phone with me here. Seattle, hey, Dean. And then, uh, I think you guys are going to laugh because, uh, hey, Canada, hey, Susan, I don't have a uh, um, a selfie stick hey, yet. <laughs> oh, you got the notification for the live stream, Jasmine says. That's cool. I'm glad. Like I said, that you guys know this is all new to me, so I think I'm learning more every day. Hi, Singapore. Singapore has some of the best weather in the world. In fact, my three favorite countries... Weather-wise that I've ever been to is uh, Kenya, Guatemala, and Singapore. And then I looked at them on the globe once, and they were all on the equator. So apparently I like, hey, Florida. So apparently I like warm weather from the equator. Northeast of China. I think that's where Beijing is. Hangzhou. Um, you know, uh, I'll... Since I'm I'm not afraid, and Jay hasn't told me not to, so I'm I give you guys the inside scoop on Jay and Ari's videos. That was one of my uh, plans for this live stream, um, but it was just confirmed yesterday. I don't know if you remember Megan. Um, she's a ballerina, or she used to be a ballerina. I guess she still is. She actually teaches. Uh, there was Ari used to teach uh, English to Chinese people on the internet. And she's too busy to do that anymore. But Megan has students. Um, I think they're mostly in China. So maybe some are in the United States. But she's teaching children, to Chinese children, to speak English. But anyway, Megan is coming. And also Ross is coming. So they Ross's uh, visa came through. So, And they're both. They, <laughs> I don't think they've met each other in person. Maybe they have. But anyway, they're going to fly together from Dallas to, uh, uh, what's the name of the airport town that we fly into? Shanghai. So they're going to fly on the airline together. So that's pretty cool. And then, um, so today we were going to go to Yellow Mountain, but now we need to get our clothes fitted. They're going to make us, Lynette and me, clothes for the wedding, the Chinese wedding. So we have to go to James' hometown, which is... Nig Nigua, I don't know how to say it, Nigua City, N-I-N-G-G-O-U City. Um, so we're going to go there today and then uh, get fitted for our clothes and, and we'll probably stay there. I don't know, if, well, maybe. We have to go there to first get our clothes fitted and, and we might go somewhere else before the wedding, I don't know. Probably. But originally, uh, Lynette and I were going to go with Jay and Ari to go pick up Megan and Ross from the airport. But now I don't think we're going to because the car only holds seven people and only two pieces of luggage. So I think they'll go to uh, Shanghai to pick up Megan and Ross. And then they might just bring them back. Originally, we were going to spend a couple nights in Shanghai and then come, go back to James Jay's hometown. But now I think that they're going to... Yeah, that's going to be a cool day on the 21st, uh, their, their Chinese wedding. But now they're going to, um, I think, I don't know. 
So we were going to spend two days in Shanghai. The, the, the plans change every day, which is kind of fun. It reminds me of being on tour. I feel like I'm a young man on tour again, except for my body doesn't feel that way. <laughs> but in my mind, I feel like I'm on tour. What's happening? I need a haircut. Look at this. What's happening? But anyway, okay. So, and then <laughs> I'm tr I'll try not... You know that I go down rabbit holes and I talk about different things when they come to my mind, but I try to remember at least one place to come back to. And I wanted to show you guys, <laughs> because I don't have a selfie stand or a, self, or a, phone, a selfie stick or a phone stand, I want to show you guys how I'm recording this. Hey, Lynette. Lynette just came back from breakfast. Oh, I'm looking good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I got to cut, the, get the haircut. But anyway, I'm going to show you from Lynette's phone. <laughs> no, we're leaving Nanjing today. So in fact, we'll probably leave soon after this um, uh, live stream is done. I think it's Nanjing. Nanjing. Isn't it Nanjing? No, it's Nan. N-A-N-J-I-N. Oh. Like Beijing, Nanjing. And one some, means north and one means south. Yeah, non means south, but I think it. someone said I was saying it right. Can I have this now? Uh, yeah. So just click on here. Does it's it it's fully charged, so it doesn't have to be plugged in. And then just click on you know change me to pro, my profile to Lynette. And I and then if you need help, I can you know I can walk you through it. But it should be online. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take Lynette's phone. We only have one computer. I think I told you guys that already. Because she has a Chromebook that she does her, you know, talks to all her friends. Um, but it doesn't work in China. So we're, so she, we're sharing one computer. Hometown is Yellow Mountain. Yeah, Chicago. Hi, Chicago. Uh, so now getting back to... Uh, oh, greetings from New Jersey. So fun. Um, my home, st my birth state. Uh, so let's see. So far, it's taken me seven minutes to do this one simple thing. <laughs> but I'm having so much fun. Oh, San Diego. I'm having so much fun because I feel like I'm actually, I know we're in different places in the world, but when I'm doing this and I can read your comments and it's live, I feel like. I'm hanging out with you guys, so that that's really cool for me. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go to the phone. <laughs> uh, my Lynette's phone. I don't have a name for her phone yet. Lynette, do you want me to get, what, what do you want to call your phone? My, 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 my phone? My phone is called Steve. She just wants me to call it Lynette's <laughs> phone, I guess. Hey, Toronto. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to, what do you call it? Uh, photos. I don't really know even how to do that. <laughs> For a guy that owns an internet company. Oh yeah. Little Chinese everywhere. Someone said they follow little Chinese everywhere. Uh, she's, she's my favorite. Um, uh, a travel logger, uh, New, New York City. That's cool. Uh, how do I do a how do I take a photo? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <I'm> gonna, <laughs> oh, it's hard to see actually because the light the the window to the hotel is okay you're gonna be able to see this is behind me so it's a little bit dark but i'm gonna try to show it to you okay okay <laughs> this is so dumb um okay now i have to go to i took a photo so now i have to go to i guess photos let's see here photos <laughs> yeah let's see elemental p okay okay all right <laughs> 
If you don't use Chinese SIM card, I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing any of that internet stuff. But anyway, can you guys see that? Oh, it's kind of dark. But anyway, that's my computer bag and then my shoe. <laughs> and then that's the phone that I'm live streaming on right now. Oh, someone just said I saw a little Chinese error, but that it went away too fast, so I couldn't read the whole thing. Yeah, I think I told you I invited her to the wedding on the 21st, but I don't, I know, she's so busy. And the live stream, I saw her, and she was in Malaysia. But she only lives like 40 miles. <laughs> she only lives like 40 miles from Nink, James, uh, Jay's hometown. So anyway... Uh, I will try to buy a selfie stick. I think I'm going to have a little more free time in Jay's hometown. Uh, a little, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Catherine. I think I follow her, or I know who she is. Um, and they were at Yellow Mountain. And who did you see, Lynette? You watched this, you said you watched the video. And when it, of No, you watched one where they went up to the tower in... Uh, what was that town? Oh, I, I don't know who they are. On Hanjo. Okay, she doesn't remember who the vloggers are. But anyway, we like to watch travel vlogs. And, but our favorite is little, little Chinese everywhere. Um, okay. Catherine's Journey to the East. Yeah, I think, I think I subscribed to that one. I think she's living here now. And she's working, I think, for a... Like a company like that wants clean air or something. Yeah, she's an American girl. I saw a video with her parents. Um, okay. So, yes, I tried packing roasted duck um, in America, but not in China yet. We are going to Beijing, and I'm told that, that pecking means Beijing, basically. And we did, we have tried Nanjing duck. And it was, it was different. Hello from Malaysia. So, um, <laughs> it's so weird because my shoe, it's not blocking the camera, but it's blocking the screen a little bit. Um, and I, I already decided I'm going to sing. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Megan will be here for several weeks. And I don't know exactly, do you know when she's coming? Oh, she, oh she's gone. Um, I don't know exactly when she's coming, but I know she will be here for a few weeks. And um, I think Jay's mom might be coming with us to, to Beijing because she's never been there. But everything, like I said, I, I think everything is always, other than the date for the wedding, I think everything, hey, hi, um, everything is flexible. Um, and my dad actually always taught me that, you know, the, the key to successful and endeavors is flexibility because sometimes if you're too rigid, it's just too hard and, and then it's not fun. Um, okay. I have a song, the, the, the song that I planning that I plan on singing at the end of the video is a song called find myself. Um, uh, hello from Singapore. Uh, and so, and I'm kind of behind. I have about two videos that I haven't edited yet that I would, that I just need to. And I also have two videos, New York. I have two videos that I have edited and I have uploaded. And so they're, it's, you know, it takes a while to do that stuff. So they're adding the subtitles and stuff, um, for the Chinese platforms. And then they send me a link and then I'll put it up onto the, because I want my, even though this doesn't have, um, this is only in English and it doesn't have subtitles. A lot of you have said that you understand a lot of what I'm saying. And, and so that's good. But I like it on my edited videos. Um, I like it when they have subtitles both in English and, uh, and a Mandarin or Chinese. San Francisco. That's one town I've never been to. In fact, that's one of the few towns that Lynette has been to when she was a young, a young girl. Um, cause usually I've been to more places than my wife cause I used to travel a lot and sing and then she would stay home sometimes and sometimes she'd come with me. Uh, but that's one of the places that she has on me. I've never been to San Francisco, but my wife has, um, I don't know if we're going, you know, 
okay, I'll, I probably shouldn't even say this, but someone asked me if I was going to go to the Forbidden City, and I'm sure that we will because you kind of have to, don't you, if you go to Beijing? But I will say this, that um, I told Jay, I said, and, and really, Lynette is going to be here. I mean, I might have to leave when she goes, or I might be able to stay a little bit longer. I don't know. But I want, and, and Lynette loves history, so I want Lynette to see everything that she wants to see. But I told Jay, I said, to be honest, I would rather see things that aren't so well known. Like everyone knows the Forbidden City and everyone knows, you know, the Great Wall of China. And so I don't mind seeing those places. But to be honest, if I had a choice between seeing one of those famous places and another less famous place, I would, I would rather go there because I know that some people watch my videos and I really want to promote tourism. I really want um, people to come and visit China and see for themselves and not just believe what they hear on the news. Um, so I want to promote tourism. So everyone that you know comes does has a video of, of Shanghai, the Bund, and then also the Great Wall and also the Forbidden City. So I don't know that I will add that much to help encourage people to visit China by showing those places, uh, but I will if we go. Um, but I'd rather show them places they've never seen and ne never known about before. Hey, Toronto. Uh, it's so cool that you guys are commenting and telling me where you're from because it's, uh, it's exciting for me. Summer Palace. Is the Summer Pal the Summer Palace is the Forbidden City, isn't it? The video that the family shot in Shanghai. I I mean they I know that they do keep their they keep their videos to around 12 or 15 minutes. I mean, I asked Jay about that once. I said, "I think you guys put longer videos." And he said, "Ah, I, I like having, you know, a fast pacing and and when like me and Lynette, we we'll, we will watch videos that are kind of a little bit longer, but I like I I know so that you guys might like them longer, but I really like Jay's editing style, and they both Ari and Jay edit you know together, and actually they usually one of them will do the first edit, and then the other one will do the second edit, and they they're a really good team. Hey California, um, so I think they're. Um, their their editing is great, and I think twelve to fifteen minutes for what they're doing is really a good time. I mean, a good length. But a lot of times, it, it the the content is so good and and engaging and exciting. What happened to my arm? Which arm? <laughs> I don't know. Did I? I think I didn't tell you yet. It'll be on a video. I might have told you. I fell down. In Nanjing, we I were crossing a little bridge, and there was a step about this, about three inches or four inches tall, and I was just, uh, and I just wasn't watching. I was looking ahead, and there was a little step, and I fell down. So, um, so right now, my my arm and my wrists hurt, and I can't close, I can't grip anything with my hands. That happened three days ago. Hey, uh, New York City. So uh, it's getting better, and my thumb is still sore. I can, so I can't really grip right now, and I can't. I can open this hand, but I guess I can do. So yesterday I couldn't make a flat hand, but <laughs> but <laughs> and I haven't had time to look at the video yet. But I will put it on one of my edited videos. I have because the camera was running when I fell down, so I don't know. I hope it looks cool <laughs> because it hurt a lot. And then I was okay, and it was so, you know, people just gathered around, and I said, oh, no, I don't want to make a scene because it was pretty full, um, and I'm pretty, pretty big. Uh, so everyone came in, and they were all talking in Chinese. I said, no, no, no. And so I said, I have to get up right now, or this is going to be, <laughs> they're going to call the ambulance and da, da, da. So I, I was able to get up, and I, because I used to be an athlete, I, I, I know how to fall pretty well. So, I, but because I was holding the camera, I don't know. I did a dumb thing. Instead of rolling, which I should have done, I put my hands down, and the the road we were on was stone. So it 
it somehow it was like black stone it somehow it somehow felt harder than if it was cement <laughs> i was gonna say i used thank you someone said i love your glasses i was gonna put on new this is i don't know i think this is a new one i brought about 10 of these and they're just kind of fun they only cost one dollar in america and and i used to buy like nice you know cool looking reading glasses these are called reading glasses but i would lose them all the time and so these are from dollar tree the only well now dollar tree with inflation is a dollar 25 tree but i bought like i don't know 30 of these and i think i brought about 10 of them to china uh because well now that i wear them on my head i don't lose them as much so if i see a nice pair of reading glasses i'll probably buy it because i know they, these are kind of dumb but they're kind of fun uh, but I brought about 10 different pairs, so I, I, <laughs> so I thought, oh, I should wear a different pair every time I do a live stream <laughs> and then rotate them. But uh, thank you for, for commenting on my, <laughs> my uh, uh, reading glasses. Um, and when I'm far enough away, I don't have to... I can still read your comments. Um, but when I'm too close, I can't. Welcome to Shanghai. See, I read that with no glasses. But anyway, the reason I'm doing it from inside today, yes, I do need a massage. And Lynette had her first Chinese massage a couple days, was a couple days ago. Another one. So hopefully in Ningua City, I wish I could hear you guys. It said I was offline, but I don't know if... It says VPN disconnected. Okay. It says live, so I'm just going to assume that I'm... Can you guys can you guys hear me now say, I can hear you, Dan? If someone can write, I can hear you, Dan. It's good now. Okay. Yes, I can hear you, Dan. Some, okay, yes. Okay. So that was weird. So my screen said uh, I was offline, but it still says that I'm live. Uh, I can hear you. Okay. Wow. That was weird. So did it glitch? Did it cut out for a second? Or did it never glitch? Yeah, because here it said VPN down. Okay, well, they can hear me now, so. Um, oh, it was just a small glitch. Well, that's, okay, great. Okay, so that's another thing I want to say. If I ever just disappear, it means something probably happened. <laughs> and it you fell down. It means, <laughs> Lynette said it means I fell down. But anyway, and then, um, I probably won't, unless I've only been talking for a couple minutes, I probably won't re try to redo everything. Um, but I was going to tell you, I already have two edited videos that, that are in line that, that they're working on. So, and in fact, I'm going to try to release one today or maybe tomorrow, your time, uh, Fujian, Seattle. Oh, so we flew out of Seattle. So our trip to to Shanghai was from Kansas City to Seattle to Shanghai. And then uh, Ross and Megan are going to fly out of Dallas, Texas, directly to Shanghai on that trip. So I'm hoping that they'll, they'll pick them up. Anyway, there was not enough room in the car that we have for their luggage and then uh, Jay and Ari and Chaudofu and Lynette and I and Ross and Megan. So we, we won't be going on that trip. So I'm hoping they'll come straight to um, a few. <laughs> Someone said they hope there's a video about Lynette's massage. Well, now, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So I think, so now I do have my WePay working, and I used it for the first time yesterday. And so that's exciting because it's weird not having, not being able to buy anything. Um, and I did do have a little bit of cash, uh, cause someone gave us a little bit of cash or Chinese money when, when we, when we, uh, when we came over here, well, just like maybe a hundred or two, uh, RNB. And then, but I still don't have my, my Alipay isn't working yet. And I, I don't think it's Alipay's fault. My credit card company, I literally just haven't had time to jump through all the hoops to prove I'm me and to prove that I really am trying to use my own credit card for my own Alipay account in China. Oh yeah. 
uh, Ari wrote a song called Leather, and it's it's one of my, when I hear it, I, I when me and Lynette hear it, we kind of cry, because it's about two people that are in love uh, when they're young, and then, sheesh, I don't, I'm not going to even talk about this, because I don't want to get emotional again today, this is, that's ridiculous, but anyway, it's about two people that love each other, and then, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it, okay, it's a really good song, though, it's, it's, Lynette and I love that song. What is happening? I'm offline now. Uh, I think I'm still online. Yeah, it's kind of random. We get bumped offline quite a bit. The bank charges in China. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, and I tried to tell in the past when I would travel, go on tour, I'd always tell my credit card company, hey, I'm going to be traveling overseas, so it's it's me. And then I tried to do it with this credit card company. And then they said, oh, just tell us when you're over there. And it's like, what? So now I have to just jump through some hoops. I, it's a hassle. I know it's important so that people don't rip me off. It, I just don't like it. But I know it's a good thing. So um, Leather is a great song. There is a live feed on one of my videos at the end of the video. I think it's one where I... I was hosting a, an, an event in our small town in America called Smithville. And at the end of that video, she sang it. I, I think what? you should tell people where you live. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, uh, it's on all my videos. You know, it says live in Smithville. Um, but anyway, it's about a, a, a young couple in love, and then they eventually get old. I, why am I talking about that? Okay, sorry, I don't read Chinese, Tiger. <laughs> uh, do you have any other questions? Um, I actually didn't really have a plan. I usually have a little bit of an idea of a couple things to talk about. Oh, I know. <laughs> the other thing I'm doing is, uh, it turns out, I because for the, the Chinese platforms, they want the highest quality video possible. But it turns out you can't download a high-quality YouTube video and then it, it's 720 instead of 1086, so it's, it's kind of lower-quality video. But I don't know if it really matters. I mean, you guys are watching the best-quality video when it's live like this and even in, uh, uh, when it's played back. But they, they, like, they, wanna, they add subtitles for the, for the Chinese um, platforms. And then, uh, so that the video itself is a little bit lower quality, but it's just my big head. So I don't think that matters. In fact, I want lower quality video <laughs> for just my big head. And that's a talk, big talking head. Because the audio video, the audio quality is the same. It's just the video quality is uh, not as tight as what you guys are watching. Um, but anyway, so... We're trying a new thing. Uh, I am a rocker, or I was. No, I still am. Um, uh, so we're, I'm going to upload. So I'm recording this video on my phone, but it doesn't record the audio. So I'm going to give them the video so it'll be high-quality video. 15% of China. Hi from Australia. I love China. So far, why, why do you think I'm not going to like it later? No, I love it. Um Maybe you think that I'll love it even more later, but I don't think that's possible. Yeah, um, I already did play with a local street band in China on that T-Mountain thing, and I think that some guy told me that had like 200,000, 20, 20, million, 20 million views in like one, or 40 million views in one day, and, um, and it was promoted by the tea company, I think, I assume, um, it was the day, I think the day before we did the live stream for the tea company in, um, outside of Hanzhou in, uh, where the, in the green tea fields, it was really amazing. But anyway, so I sang, so that I came well, there were some musicians just playing on the side of the mountain on the street and they sounded really good, so I stopped and I just started singing because they were just playing instrumental music and it was it was pretty cool. And I just 
I felt it. I was feeling it. So I just started singing some impromptu try try losing weight. Honey, someone told me I'm fat. Well, oh, does this shirt make me look fat? <laughs> it's not my shirt that makes me look fat. But anyway, so uh, I was very inspired. Um, and I, by the way, I do think I, I did lose 10 pounds already. And I did also lose 10 pounds before I came to China in the month before because I thought I'm going to be walking. Really fat. I was really fat, yeah. No, I'm about, uh, I'm 50 pounds lighter than I was at my heaviest, at my heaviest. Um, oh, so anyway, so uh, I really like that video, the music part of it. Um, but it, then it turns out they were actually professional musicians. <laughs> so someone said, would I like to play with street musicians? I actually do. If I see someone jam, I usually will want to sing unless it's just what wouldn't be right. And, you know, but if their, if their quality is good enough, if there's a, you know, little crowd or something, I will, I'll pretty much sing with anyone if I have time. Um, but these guys on the mountain, they were professional musicians in the band called uh, uh, Joyside. Joyside. How do you know the name of that band? But anyway, Lynette knows more about China than I do. But she actually, she studies more than I do, watches more videos. Joyside, yeah. So how cool to just think I'm playing with a little street band that's having fun just hanging out, and it turns out they're a prof professional Chinese band. You know, and I don't know if I'll get a chance because I'm, I'm hoping to stay a little bit longer on this trip than we were originally planning, and Lynette has to go back. Uh, she's going to go on a trip with Mei Mei and, and do some uh, medical stuff. So I'm, but I'm hoping I can stay a little bit longer because I want to go to a recording studio in China, and I and I think I'll be would be staying in Shanghai if I was able to stay longer. And I've looked it up, and there's like at least three or four or five uh, professional recording studios in Shanghai. So, you know, and I I wouldn't mind recording with that band Joyside. I don't know where they live. Oh, they live in Hangzhou. That's not too far. So maybe there's a way I could go to Hanzhou if they wanted to. I wouldn't mind going into the studio and recording that song that I was, that they were playing that I was singing with them and finish that song. That'd be kind of cool. So a couple things that I would like to do if I do stay is I would like to go into a recording studio in China and record. I'd love to record Ari, but she's so busy. Um, I hope you guys have heard that song that we did together. Well, Papa, Sherry's got a lot on her mind tonight. I love her. But uh, she sings it in Chinese, and it is gorgeous. We actually have two versions, one where the all the choruses are in Chinese, and then one where the choruses are in English, except for the last chorus is only in Chinese. Yeah, I hope you liked it. But... So the two things I would like to do if I stay longer is one, I would like to do daily vlogs from China. Uh, so there's three things. I would like to do daily vlogs. I thought there's four things. And I would like to shoot some more edited long form videos. And then I would like to go into a recording studio and let, record a song. And maybe even, you know, with Joywise if they're interested. Joyside, uh, Joy Side, sorry. Joyside if they want to. Or... Uh, if they just want to, if, if even some of the members just want to come and play, uh, whatever they want would be cool with me. And they can get a hold of Jay because I don't really know how anyone can get a hold of me while I'm in China. But uh, I think there's a way people can get a hold of Jay. If anyone from Joyside wants to get together and record with me, that'd be great. Get a hold of Jay, please. But, um, uh, and then the, the fourth thing I'd like to do, and maybe I could do that if I had a little bit of more time, um, after Lynette went home, is I would like to record a video for Wo Baba. Wo Baba, Wo Baba, Wo Baba. She keeps her life in constant motion, traveling far across the ocean. I'm glad tonight she had the notion to give me a call. Okay, so someone asked why I didn't go to the Mount. So I realize some of you guys are joining a little bit later because I said it at the very beginning. But we were going to go to the Yellow Mountain today, but we have to go get fitted for our clothes uh, for the for the 
Chinese wedding, so they have, they need time to make the clothes. I hope they have enough fabric in the store, because some of you have seen my belly. I'm just hoping they have enough fabric to make my Chinese clothes. And then, uh, so we have to get fitted for that. And then I think we might go, because I said, oh, Jay, are we, <coughs> are we still going to uh, Yellow Mountain? And he said, yeah, it's just, just not next. So um, today we're going to travel to Nigua. I need to learn how to say that. We're going to travel to Jay's hometown today. Are you 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah, I think so. My wife said I'm 6'3", which I know that's not true. I was 6'3 when I was like 18. And I grew since then. Uh, but uh, uh, Evan and, and, and Ling Ling, he's six, he said he's 6'5". And I Bing said... Bing. What? Bing Bing. I'm sorry, Bing Bing and uh, Evan. Evan... <laughs> It was, it was when we stood next to each other. Who was taller? Was I a little bit taller than him? I think he was taller. Okay, I think I used to be six six, <laughs> and I when I've measured myself, I'm six six. And when I've, <laughs> but uh, Evan from uh, Bing Bing and Evan said he's six five, and I think we were the same height. But Lynette said he's a little bit taller, so I don't know. Um, it says on my pa driver's license that I'm 6'6", six, six, so I'm sticking with that. But I may have shrunk a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, th this, they think that I, I was taller than Evan. And I think, too, because I was kind of slouching, and I think he was, he's so skinny. He reminds me of a young me. He's even skinnier than when I was that age. I started getting a little bit heavier when I was got turned 30. But I, before, when I was in high school, I was a stick. Did you guys see the picture? On one of Jay's videos, he showed a, a picture. I think it was the one where we ate at his cousin's restaurant. That was one of the best restaurants I've ever eaten at. But anyway, they showed Jay, a picture of Jay, I think what was it, like 16 or something. Jay was a little stick person. He was he was skinnier than my finger. Oh, <laughs> Lynette, someone said that I, I have a good co-host. <laughs> and I assume they're talking about you. I tried to sleep. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but she just said, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> uh, I don't think she'll be able to sleep, though. But uh, let's just say, if she does fall asleep, you will know. <laughs> so, <Stop> I, it. <laughs> so I'm hoping she does fall asleep. But anyway, we watch Shadofu. We watch him for about an hour and a half every morning, let Jay and Ari get some sleep. And we're loving China. Yeah, the photo from Jay. It wasn't he skinny. Of uh, oh, those those veggie. I'm reading your comments on those veggie. I'm telling you. Um, I, I guess it's a pretty high end restaurant, but it, it was amazing. Um, Ari's sister May May really wants to come to China, but she she just had a baby, and you know, I think if they if I think they might try to come next summer. But if they don't come next summer, I think it would be a long time because I think they're going to keep having a bunch of kids. I know they want a, a bunch of them. But I think it's probably the easiest if you just have two little babies like Shao Dofu. Like Lynette and I traveled when our son was one year old. We were overseas for about almost two years. And that was actually pretty easy. I could try fasting, but I, I don't really enjoy it that much <laughs> but uh actually i i know how to lose weight i just have to be motivated and i'm just i'm it's not a high priority for me right now i am I, i'm losing weight but slowly and i'm comfortable with it because if i if i do like you know something to make me lose weight fast and then I lose motivation, and then it, it, I gain it back. So I'd rather just kind of uh, not beat myself up about it and just do what I'm comfortable with, something that I can keep doing for a long time. Hi, Vancouver. Uh, let's see. It's been about 40 minutes. Where will I go today? We're going to go to James Jay's hometown today. What happened on your hand arm? What are you guys talking? What are you talking about? Is there something? that you're seeing that I'm 
that happened to my hand? I don't know. Are you talking about what happened to my other arm? Well, I'm laying down every time I've done uh, the last three live streams. I never think about losing weight when in China. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I think I think I am losing weight because I'm not. I'm. I am. I only eat until I'm full, and then yeah, I'm laying on my left elbow. So this is my preferred position. I think I'll stick with it because I'm more relaxed. When I sit up for too long, my back starts to hurt. So I read this way. I I work on my computer. I edit my videos in the, from this position. I think my jet lag is, is going away. I didn't sleep as long last night. Uh, I only slept four hours last night, but the night before I slept for five hours. So it's N-I-N-G-G-O-U City. And... Uh, yeah, I know I'm not going. I'm not going to fast um, in China for sure. Um, and it, I don't think probably many people in China have heard of it because it's considered a really small town, even though it's 400,000 people. To me, that's a big city. But it's about uh, as the crow flies. It's only like an like an hour and a half or two hours from. Shanghai, and it's maybe an hour from Hanzhou, but I don't know why. It, it, it's like a four or five hour drive. If you're driving from, from Shanghai to Nigua City, James, Jay's hometown. But I, I, he said most people in China would not have heard of it. But it's, uh, it, let's see. So if I'm looking at the map, it'd be reverse for you. So it'd be, it'd be Shanghai on the coast. So Shanghai, Hanzhou, and then Jay's hometown is about where it's at. <laughs> I think I finished all my stories. Yes, yeah, so we will travel to Beijing. Is that considered the north? It looks it, it looks north. The people aren't there aren't mostly rude, I guarantee it. There are, I'm sure there's some rude people, but I guarantee you that most people will not be rude. Even though I'm not from China, and I'm assuming you are, and you're saying, no, the people here are rude. And I'm saying, no, they're not. And so <laughs> China is huge. Yeah, you wouldn't have heard of it. There's towns. I mean, there's I know pretty much every capital of every fifth, all the 50 states. Good morning, Lillian. Oh. Um, greetings from Taiwan. So I know all 50 states and, and, uh, ma and I know all the major cities, but I know the capitals to all 50 states in America, but I don't know the name of every town in America. And so I don't even know the name of every small town in Tennessee or in Missouri. So I wouldn't, ex I, w I wouldn't expect you to have ever heard of Jay's hometown. My, uh, right elbow is kind of bruised. Oh, wow. <gasps> I didn't see that. Okay, I did not see this. Okay, wow, it is. Okay, so that would have been from when, was it yesterday? No, two days ago I fell down on the stone in a kind of near, it was kind of a, like a tourist area. It's kind of old town. It's by the ancient wall in Nanjing, and it was maybe... Um, a two minute walk from Jay's cousin's hotel. But I have, I did not see that yet. Wow, that does look pretty bad. But that's from when I fell down on this, a black stone. And uh, I knew it was sore, but I didn't, I don't turn my arm around. You know, I have to turn my ar arm around to kind of see it. Um, so. They're saying that I should get a massage. Well, I want to anyway, because I am getting a little bit stiff again. My back is is starting to get sore again. Use ice. Yeah, I didn't even know it was bruised. I kept thinking, why are they talking about my my arm? Drink too much. No, I think I think only twice have I even had like even a little bit of sip of alcohol since I've been here. I'm Dr. Dr. 
Leo's house, they had a really like a super expensive, like a five hundred dollar bottle of liqueur or something. So I I tasted that. That was really good. Um, and oh, and then when I got together with Jay's father-in-law, he offered me a drink, and pretty much I'll I'll always. Um, unless I've got to work, if you know, if I have to work later, then I won't drink anything, or if I have to do a live stream or something, because then I just it doesn't it doesn't work out. But if if I uh, have free time and someone offers me something, I've kind of in all my travels around the world, I've pretty much learned to um, accept whatever is offered to me as a sign of respect and and to respect the culture and and to and to. Lynette says that's scary, but I mean, I'm not going to do something that's like, hey, you're, you want to eat this snake head and try this venom? But I don't think people would do that to me. Anyway, um, some bruise gel. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I think it's, it probably looked a lot worse because this is what day three. It, does, it doesn't hurt, so I think it's going to be okay. And the main thing that hurts is my wrist still hurts in my, in my thumb, but that's already getting better. I might have had bleeding under the skin. Wow. I mean, I think it's going to be fine. I didn't know it was that. Yeah, it doesn't even hurt. So probably just ruptured a little bit of blood vessels under the skin. Actually, I'm surprised. Lynette, did you see that bruise? Mm -hmm. Look. Ouch. It looks pretty bad, doesn't it? You land. That's where you landed. Yeah. I landed like, shoom. Oh well. I turned around and my husband was laying on the ground. She said, I turned around and my husband was laying on the ground. Because <laughs> they were actually ahead of me, so they didn't see me fall. But I don't know how you ship a dead body back to America. She's trying to, she said she's glad I didn't die because she doesn't know how to ship a dead body back to America. Does America even accept dead bodies anywhere? I don't know. Hi, Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine, you've been here with me on this live feed since the beginning. Okay, it's getting, uh, our next plans in China are to go to uh, Jay's hometown. And then I think, and I don't, and then I, he might be waiting till uh, Ross and Megan get here to go to, and we all go together to, because uh, we can all fit in the car if we don't have our luggage. So we could do all do a day trip together. Um... And I know we are planning on going to Beijing, and then there's a lot of other options. Yeah, it's going to heal soon. It doesn't hurt. Uh, yeah. Oh, I will. I have tried KFC. I have to say this. The hamburgers, and KFC in America doesn't have hamburgers. The hamburgers in KFC are very, in China are very good. And Jay said they're kind of expensive, too. So, um, and... And and did you say KFC and did you say Pizza Hut? We have had Pizza Hut. In fact, that will be in one of Jay's videos. It was probably the most dis. Hi, hey Ronald. It was probably the most disappointing food I've had. But we ate Domino's pizza and it was some of the best pizza. Was it Domino's? Yeah. It was some of the best pizza I've ever eaten. The crust was excellent. But then we had. Domino's at another restaurant, another city, and it wasn't as good as the previous city. So it's it's like the chains in America. I'm assuming some branches are better than others, even though they're the same, you know, brand name. KFC, McDonald's. We haven't had McDonald's yet. Yet uh, last night we had our, <laughs> and I'll, I'll this will be on an edited video. But we had our first uh, robot come to our door. <laughs> and deliver food. And so it was new. For, so I filmed it because it was like so cool. Just so he brought the robot, he, it, I think it was a girl robot. She brought us because they call. So what they do is that they come to your door and then they call your phone number. I don't even know how she, how she knew my phone number. And she said, hi, this is your friendly service robot. And we're here at your door and your food is ready for you. So please come and take your food or something like that. So she called me on the foot on the hotel phone and said that. And then we went to, she sounded like a girl. She didn't look like a girl. I mean, she looked like a barrel. 
but um, so we went <laughs> and we, we were looking at her and she didn't say nothing. And yeah, we ate a durian pizza at the Pizza Hut. I, I liked it, but no one else, no one else, there everyone else said it's not very good. Um, they said it wasn't fresh, but how do I know if durian is fresh or not? Uh, and then so we were going, so we were looking at it, and then, and then it said, press here. So then Lynette pressed here, and then it opened up its mouth, and then we were able to take a bag of Burger King out. And actually, the Burger King was pretty good, the because we just got hamburger. Because actually, I think I told you yesterday, so Jay took out, took Ari out for her breakfast, and then we watched how Dofer for a couple hours, and they, it was the first time that both Jay and Ari had ever been away from Shao Dofu. And he's eight months old now. So in eight months, that was the first time that they were able to go out uh, alone. So we felt proud. <laughs> and we felt happy that we could do that. Ari said, okay, that's your guys' uh, birthday present. Hey, time on. Um, I don't know what building 371 is. Yeah, I'm not going to... I don't want to eat shrimp on pizza, but I did like the durian. Yeah, little tofu's eight months. So um, Ari was really, they were really happy to go out. They said, wow. And then they came home. Uh, I haven't tried hot pot in China yet. I don't think we did. Oh yeah, we had hot pot on a video, look, Jay and Ari's video when we were with uh, Bing Bing and Evan. And that's when I got my nails painted. If you can see now, my nails aren't painted anymore because Lynette hated my painted nails. And I kind of, I mean, I learned a lot from having painted nails because one of my nails came off like five days ago and then my, my other nine nails were still painted. And and then, then Lynette or Ari, I can't remember, someone, they said, well, now you know how us girls feel. And I did. I did know how those girls felt because I didn't like having one, <laughs> one missing or broken nail. In fact, it, it didn't even come off. It only broke. It got chipped, and I didn't like how it looked when it was chipped. So I just, I peeled the whole thing off. But anyway, time for a song so I can keep it under an hour. Dom, yes, Domino's it was way better than the Pizza Hut. So, oh, and I was gonna say we haven't tried McDonald's yet. Um. Okay, time for a song. Uh, I sing Find Myself History. What was I going to sing today? Oh, I had a, a song I was going to sing today. Well, I, I think I'll sing Sherry then. No, Harley. Yeah, yeah, okay, I want to sing Harley. When the, <clears throat> how's it go? When the road seems, that sounds too high. When the road seems hard, and the day seems mellow, and in the night no rest will come, I could take it back, and I could start it over, but I don't know where it's from. I remember what I've done. I can see it all. I can feel the rain coming down. But I shouldn't have let her ride on my Harley. Now I'm never gonna see it again. No, I shouldn't have let her ride on my Harley. Now I'm never gonna see it again. Fool me once and shame on you. But fool me twice and I'm the fool. All right, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow if I have time. Or if not, I'll see you guys soon. Love you. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me. It really makes it special. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Have a great day.